All right, ready, ready. Uh, this will be part two of my EDC, Everyday Carry. Um, these are just items that I carry on a daily basis. I will extend this into my um, day bag and then eventually into uh, my go bag. Uh, if you don't know the difference, um, a, a day bag is basically just your bag of essentials that you would carry on a daily basis that you can't carry on your person. And then a go bag is a bag that you prepare um, for a disaster, something where you need to leave the confines of your house and survive for, you know, a week or so uh, out and about. Um, so yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go over three items today. Uh, first item we'll go over is my phone. Um, I'm hoping that I have fixed or at least attempted to affix the focus problem. I did a little research uh, yesterday and I went into my settings and uh, hopefully I have fixed it to some degree. Um, it already looks better than it did yesterday. It was really going in and out. Um, I could see it trying to focus now, but at least it's not going blurry. So I guess the, f the first thing I'll go over is, in fact, my new phone. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that uh, I just got this phone not too long ago. I was out um, hiking with my dogs, got caught in a rainstorm, and my last phone got flooded and ruined. I'm a fan of the Android uh, operating system. Um, not really a big fan of Apple um, for many reasons. Um, so I go with the Android. There ain't a lot of choices with Android. Um, I usually would buy an LG. That's what my old phone was. The last couple phones have been like the different series of LG. But um, the last time I went in, uh, the salesperson talked me into this Samsung uh, Galaxy. It's an S9 Plus. Um, I just wanted the biggest phone I could get because I got these oven mitts for hands and texting or doing anything on the phone is a hassle if it's not big. Um, I still don't feel like this is a very big phone, um, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not gonna go into any of the technical uh, aspects of the phone because I really don't care. I'm not a technical person at all. I basically want a phone that I can text on, uh, email, call, and uh, you know, like search, do internet searches on and stuff. I took my youngest daughter with me to get it and uh, soon as they took it out of the package she was messing around with it and oh look you can do a emoji selfies daddy i'm like i don't know what that is and of course she's pulling that stuff up and i'm, <laughs> I'm like okay um but anyway what i do like about this phone is it is uh waterproof or like say water resistant but for basically what i'm using it it will be waterproof i you don't have to worry about it when you're out in rain passively getting wet now if i were to throw it in a pool or something i'm sure that would be an issue but you know for my purposes um it'll do just fine uh the phone itself you know i already told you what it was not gonna go anything technical i mean it is what it is it's a phone um but I do, when I do buy it, I never buy the case and stuff there because I feel like it's a rip off. They're charging you all this money for just a crappy case. So as many of you probably do, I do a lot of shopping on Amazon. I got Amazon Prime and you know free shipping. So I'll go in and read reviews on stuff and um, basically go with what, you know, gets the best reviews um, for the price. And uh, I actually went with a phone case by a company called Subcase, S-U-P-C-A-S-E. Uh, it's one of Amazon's uh, recommended like bestsellers. Um, the case name is a little suspect. It's called the Unicorn Beetle Pro series. But basically it's just a flat black case that actually has a protective coating. It's basically a two-piece case that pops together over the phone so it's basically airtight, watertight, you can't get dirt inside of it. And the, the, the cover is like a silicon, like a, you know, clear plastic. But um, it's been working out well and also came with another like holster style 
thing you can slide it into. I don't use that thing. Um, I just put it in my back pocket. But the price was very reasonable. It was only $18 with free shipping on Amazon. And uh, yeah, I wanted something that basically went around the entire phone because just like my uh, sunglasses, I'm always dropping my phone, always dropping it. And for like a, a minute on my last phone, I got one of those uh, glass covers. First time I dropped it, it cracked. And that thing was like 40 bucks. So I just go with the, the plastic, you know, covers. And I feel for 18 bucks if it ever ends up getting scratched up, I'll just buy another another case for it. But so far it's been a really good, oh, here we go. I thought, oh, now I'm back. I thought, I, I, you know, for the money, it's, it's a really good case. We've got good reviews, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, and then lastly, talking about the phone is my, how I mount it in my cars. I get this, I like a magnet. I don't like clipping it into something. So I think it was at Target or Walmart, I got these things called Skosh magnets. It's S-C-O-S-C-H-E, magnetic dash mounts. They're really little. And they have this little square and a suction cup, and you can suction cup it to your windshield or the dash. And it has a lever that comes down with suction cup to really lock it into place. And then you put the magnet adhesive it to the back of your case. And I bought them for all my cars so that I could just interchange them from car to car. And it locks it right on, um, doesn't move. Um, it's low profile, it's not like this big thing, honking thing sitting on your dash or on your. Uh, windshield and like I said I can use it on all the cars and actually you know they all come with a couple magnets so I have all these backup magnets uh, in case I change out the cases because they're adhesive you can't you know one use kind of magnet thing so but I have a whole bunch of them sitting in a drawer in case I need to get a new case um, and uh, need to put a new magnet on it but the magnet super strong and uh, like I said low profile and I, I think that was like $12 per, per one at uh, Walmart or Target and uh, been very happy with that um, I have a uh, I used to have a video up of one I have a, a sports car that you know I drive on occasion I've got a Subaru STI and uh, it's got super rigid suspension you know rough ride unless you're on uh, very smooth road and uh, the magnet you know holds that phone in place you know even in that car taking turns and stuff which is pretty impressive um, but yeah that's my phone it is what it is all right my second thing I'm going to talk about and I have talked about this in other videos is my beard comb there you go it's made by a company called Hudson Design and Manufacturing. Uh, they make these called tactical beard combs. They're made by ex-military guys. Um, each one is hand milled out of a piece of stainless steel. Each one has its own uh, serial number. And as you can see, um, the clip, I mean, that's stainless steel, super strong. And it's put in with a couple uh, screws with uh, say stainless steel screws. Those are uh, uh, Torx head with a set of nuts on the back side. And then it comes with this little lanyard on it with these little brass uh, you know, beads. Pretty cool. Um, I've had this thing for probably five years now. And it's just awesome. I can't say enough about it. The teeth are hand milled so they don't catch on your beard. They're not sharp. Um, as a beard, a bottle opener I've, I've used on occasion. But it's perfect size for your pocket, um, and you put it in your pocket, it will not come out for anything. Um, these are the kind of items, they're a little pricey. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for it. I'm sure it was well over a hundred bucks, but um, you only have one your entire life. And uh, it's just awesome. I've tried uh, like Kent combs and things, and they always break, sit on them, snap them. Um, but you're not gonna break this thing at all. Um, plus, I, I think it's a veteran-owned company, so you always want to support those guys. Um, but yeah, if you just uh, Google search Hudson Design and Manufacturing uh, Combs, they have a few different designs. I think this is one of the smaller ones. I just wanted something that was low profile and I really wouldn't feel it in my back pocket. 
use this, you know, daily, you know, on the mustache. It's a little out of control. Um, it goes through my beard fairly easily. Um, but again, you know, if my beard was dry, it wouldn't. But in my previous beard video, I went over how I'm now um, using uh, uh, conditioner when I take a shower I put in some just head hair conditioner in my beard and I basically passively rinse it out and it's been working real good um, I feel like the beard looks good and it's soft and manageable and uh, yeah enough about that all right my next thing I'm going to talk about is car keys now I'm not one of those guys that has like one set of car keys I have a set for every car independent so I don't like to fumble around um, looking for the, car, the key to that car so I just have a, a separate set per car and whichever car I'm driving or truck that day I grab that set and uh, so this is the set I have a commuter vehicle if I'm driving distance um, I bought a uh, 2018 Subaru Crosstrek uh, six-speed manual transmission it's super good gas mileage, it's all-wheel drive, uh, you know, five-door. It's a hatchback, um, you know, a smaller SUV, but uh, when I'm driving, you know, 50 miles each way to work, um, it really saves on the gas. Plus, I'm a sucker for a manual transmission, and you show me another SUV that's manual transmission, I mean, it's, it's like finding a pink unicorn, uh, finding a manual transmission, anything anymore, much less an SUV. So I, I really sold it on me, uh, sold me on it. And actually this year, the 2018s, they changed the whole um, uh, gearbox. Uh, in previous years, um, they had the gears set, um, they were way off. Like, uh, I think it was only a five speed. And uh, when you're in fifth gear, humming along, you're doing like 3,500 RPMs in fifth gear. So that's really cutting down your gas mileage. They threw that sixth gear in. And they really drop the uh, the ratio in first gear, so you get a little more torque off off the line. I mean, it's just a little four cylinder uh, motor, so you can't expect a lot of power out of it. But it's more of a you know all around commuter vehicle, um, snow, you know, rain, all that stuff. I love it. I mean, it's awesome. But anyway, this is my set of keys for the Crosstrek. Obviously, there's the uh, vehicle key I also have a I put a tow hitch on it as soon as I got it because uh, I like to I don't pull anything with it but I have a carrier for the back of it so if we take a trip or something um, obviously it's good for gas mileage um, not a lot of uh, space inside but what I did is I put a, a rack on the top of it and uh, I put a, a tow package on it and then I have a, a rack that slides into the uh, car uh, into the receiver and then I, I have like a big old Yeti cooler I'll put that on the back with that's where the suitcases go I'll wrap it all up in um, water waterproof uh, tarp and then on top I got a Thule uh, carrier um, that's where all the small crap goes and it's waterproof and locks up and like I said I, I always just leave them all on there that way because um, all those go to this vehicle and uh, that's up they're always together um, I don't have the toolie carrier on, or on the or the rack on the back normally uh, it's just like we're going on trips and stuff like that and then on my keychains I always have something similar to this um, I think to the normal person that would just look like you know just a little you know keychain accessory that's made by a company called Nucco. This one's made out of carbon fiber, but it's actually a pair of brass knuckles. Um, you know, you get out of your car, someone comes up behind you, and you have a time to uh, get to a uh, defensive weapon. You know, you can slide these on your hand, hopefully get off a couple punches. I mean, that's going to do some, that's going to do some damage. But yeah. So, this is my keys to that, and like I said, I always have something like that on each key ring. Um, but yeah, that's three items 
that I carry on a daily basis. Um, again, wouldn't mind hearing from you and tell me what your items are. Uh, I haven't gotten through all my daily items that I carry, but these are just, you know, the ones that I carry all the time and are necessities. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.